In this very short tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to change, how to batch rename your pictures. Now, you probably have a picture camera or a digital camera, and you get these files with, which have a bunch of numbers on them, but they really don't say much. Now, it would be really slow and tedious to go one by one and renaming them and then writing down the name and the number. So what you want to do probably is just do a batch rename. That's what it's called in which every, all of them are renamed at once. You can do this in Windows. There's better programs for it. But Windows does offer a very, very simple way to do batch renaming. So what you're going to do is that you're going to select the pictures that you're going to batch rename. There's a few ways to do a quick select. If you want to do all the pictures in a folder, just click Control A. That will select all the pictures. As you can see here, 35 items selected. If you just want to rename a few, you can just click and holding down control, you start clicking away and adding more pictures. Now, if you want to do, if you, if what you want to do is select a range of pictures, you hold down shift and then you can do control select. Those are very simple selecting tools that you should know by now. So in this case, let's say that we want to rename all of the pictures in the folder. I can just go control A or do a shift select then what I'm going to do is that I'm going to go to the very first one. This is important. Go to the very first picture that's going to be selected, right click on it, and just click rename. Now you can type in any name you want. In this case, you can tell it's the beach. So we can say the beach and then just click enter. You cannot really deal with extensions in Windows. It's not powerful enough to do that, but there's other programs um, that can help you do that, like Adobe Bridge. So you hit enter, and then it will automatically rename all of the files for you, starting with one. This is the only, fi uh, the, the only naming convention that Windows really operates with, uh, which is not a very good one. So it's basically one, two, three, and they're in parentheses with a space after the name. So it's, it's not a great convention, um, but there you have it. What you can do, sometimes it works for me, like let's say that starting from this picture, it was another day, I like to date them. So what I could do is say, from here to here, I'm going to rename them and say that this was April, um, sorry, April 5, 2012, and then the beach or whatever, enter and then it will only rename these files and then I click from here to here and do the same thing. I think you get the idea. You can go 4, 06, 2012, the beach, or let's say that this part is the mountain or whatever. And it will automatically rename them for you, always with the same convention. So I hope this helps and I think I will upload one uh, covering Adobe Bridge which is much, much better, has a lot more functions, and it's the one I usually use to rename my files.